Good, good morning. We are at the Super G International Market in Charlotte. It's one of two in North Carolina, and it's awesome to have it right here in town. So yeah, we're gonna show you some really cool international foods and just have a blast. So we can't wait to show you. We are gonna start in the fruits and vegetable section. That's a fresh Korean melon right there. Wow, these are hearty melons, that's for sure. Give them some perspective, baby. Oh God. <laughs> this is a big one. <laughs> that's the size of our future baby. Gosh, look at this thing. It's like a half, it's a workout. Okay, y'all, get this hearty thing up so you can see. Wow, this is, my gosh, this has gotta be like, Seriously, 30 pounds, maybe? Feels 40 like it. 30 pounds? I feel like this is the size of music and she's 80, she's 70 pounds. So. That's the, what the inside looks like of the uh, big thing we just held up a minute ago. How much does this cost? $11.20 for a half of that big baby. Wow, that's so interesting. Look at the, um, this almost feels like a bone. It's not a bone, but it feels like a hard piece. So I'm guessing you'd eat the fruit around it perhaps again this is called a jackfruit these are mushrooms these are called Tokyo perhaps these are organic very interesting looking mushrooms I'm not exactly sure what the best way to cook them would be but very interesting. Oh, and aren't the little mushroom people so cute? This is a Korean radish. Not expensive, but that's an interesting color. It goes from white to green. This is very interesting. Um, so it's Rencon, I guess. Um, that's what the Japanese says. I'm not sure what the potential Korean says, if that is Korean. Um, this is really cool. It's like some kind of perhaps root vegetable with holes. Hmm. Again, not sure how you would cook it, but fascinating so this is salted shrimp but look at this it's just like shredded shrimp in something that's a lot of shrimp and like look at the big one here like what's all this stuff up at the top is that just like shrimp juice I don't know. what I've always wanted pickled cabbage 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 the next section we're gonna check out is the meat and seafood section. Mmm, goat with the bone in, what I've always wanted. Fish sauce? I've never heard of that. But the ingredients are anchovy extract, salt, and sugar. I mean. How could you go wrong? How could you go wrong? We're going down the drink aisle now, so we'll see what we find. Okay, so pretty interesting drinks that we see here. Fascinating. Oh, this is says peanut soup. How interesting. And milk and peanut soup. I'm not really sure what that would taste like. Coconut milk drink. Hmm. With little thingamajiggers in it. Cheritos. Limon. Not lemony. Limon. Oh, this explains it. It's a Refresco Sabor Natural Con Azucar Real. 
These bottles are super interesting. They are actually a plastic feel and they are filled with clear liquid. And I guess this tastes like pineapple. I'm not sure if it's, it says water, uh, it carbon dioxide stuff. So maybe this is a carbonated beverage. Hmm, I'm not sure which country this is from, but that's interesting. This is interesting, they actually have uh, canned coffee. So they have like cappuccino, they've got iced cappuccino, iced coffee, black coffee. This is strange, you don't see these in grocery stores normally. I know that on the Japanese television shows that I watch, they do have um, coffee in cans, but it is a different concept, especially if you're uh, born and raised in the United States. This is a fun drink right here. Um, with this soda, it's got a little ball type thing in the top, and when you open it, the ball goes down to the bottom and creates the carbonation. They have a banana flavored milk drink from, I believe, Korea. Lots of really cool drinks. So if you are in the mood to try something, or even just get a can of Japanese green tea, you should absolutely check out the Super G Mart's drink selection. We don't drink beer normally, but I feel like this is a good price for this humongous Corona. It's $2.79. Am I wrong? <laughs> we found the drink of all drinks. I'm not sure how appropriate this is, but squirt. <laughs> if I drink it, that's definitely what's going to make me do. <laughs> so now we're in the rice section. My dad and I love to come look at this section, even though we have yet to buy one of these ginormous bags of rice. But for this bag of jasmine rice, which you feed a family of a million for 25 years, it's only $29.99. Now we're on the Jamaican Isle, Yaman. So let's see. Oh my gosh, I've always been looking for food for flour. And let's see what else we can find here in the Jamaican Isle. Well, there's tapioca, which I don't know if that's really Jamaican. Curry powder, looks really good. Very colorful, bright, vivid, yellow. Um, let's see. Oh, peanut butter soup. Peanut it's butter just soup? like the peanut soup that I saw earlier, but oh. Oh wow, look at that, look how it moves in there. But peanut butter soup. Hmm. Mm. There's a theme to this video today mm. with peanut butter. Oh, and then there's some kind of Nestle Milo, Milo. I'm not sure how you pronounce that correctly. Ooh, and you know how I love a good Yukazi leaf. So, leaves. For all of you who have to deal with jerks in your life, just throw a little jerk seasoning on them. Oxtail seasoning, we have been searching high and low for oxtail. So now we're going down the Hispanic foods aisle. Oh, this is interesting. From Inca's Foods, this looks like corn. Oh yes, look, dried corn for shulp for toasting. Oh, <laughs> no, dried corn shulp <laughs> for toasting. I'm sorry, I'm terrible with pronunciations. I almost failed Spanish, that's why I went with Japanese. So, Japanese I can do, Spanish I cannot do. I started in Japanese, no, I started in- Portuguese. Truth be told, I started in Spanish in college and I dropped out of the class because I couldn't understand it. And then I said, hey, I'll do Portuguese, which is worse <laughs> than Spanish. So I ended up in Japanese in my undergrad, which was great. But yeah, that's why I can't really read the Spanish, the Spanish stuff, I don't know it. Like, I don't know how to pronounce it. It is a little difficult. So I, if you do speak Spanish, we wanted to learn. We tried to learn, but it was a struggle. Look at all the candy and crackers and pretty cool. We don't really, we don't find these in regular stores, obviously. Here is soft candy with chili chamoy flavor. Um, oh, it's like a gel? I guess. I thought candy would be like sweet. Maybe this sweet with like a little bite? I don't know. Like the chili chocolate? Maybe. I wonder what the real difference is between your typical Madagascar vanilla and your Mexican vanilla. I don't know. Trip, <laughs> I don't know. 
Mole. Mole, mole, mole. Mole. This style is going to be awesome. It's Indian and Middle Eastern food, so let's see what they got. It looks really good. So let's start over here. We have tapioca slices. They look like they have the consistency of like peanut um, strips. What do you call them? But they feel, yeah, basically. Oh, I just crunched one. They feel very crunchy. Yeah, that's for sure. Bio. Okay, we won't talk about that. Gulab Jamoon. Wow. At only a dollar nineteen. Such a steal. Dried apricot paste. It's in this like sheet. I mean, it's bendable, so it's definitely a paste. But um. I don't, what would you what would you cook with this? You think? I don't know. I'd make cutouts and just eat them. Yep. <laughs> or like a very oversized wrist slap thing. <laughs> Bend it all. <laughs> gonna... oh, really hurt. <laughs> oh, I really thought it would bend more than it did. Oh my. <laughs> This is gonna be great footage. You try, I thought it would fit. Okay, let me reenact Ray. Oh. This would make a really great wrist slappy thing. Oh my gosh, that hurts. You see? Oh. 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 Mm -hmm. Paste my eyeball. <laughs> or like an apricot brick, am I right? Yes. Look, this is bitter melon, which. I think we saw that in the vegetable aisle, but this is dried bitter melon. So I'm not sure if you just, you know, eat this or if you rehydrate it. It is dehydrated, but fascinating. Oh, look. Cactus honey powder. It's the easiest and healthiest way of satisfying the craving for sweetness. So I don't exactly know what it looks like on the inside, but you can enjoy the benefits of honey anywhere any time. I said that backwards. So now you can get diabetes in liquid or powder form. I'm so melancholy. Oh, no, sorry. Mecalani. <laughs> I was way off. What are these things? Stuffed eggplants, also known as Aubergines Farsis or Berenginas Relinas. Now we're starting the Asian food aisles. I'm a huge barbecue sauce fan, so I'm really interested in this stuff like Korean barbecue sauce. The marinades look really great. Whatever that says looks good. This is fermented soybean paste. Oh my goodness, and they did not spare any expense. This is an actual glass jar that this is in, the size of my head. It's amazing. A lot of soybean paste if you're in the you know, the market for soybean paste. Oh, are two worlds apart? Tell me why he can't reach When you say that I want it that way, tell me why he ain't nothing but Tell me why he ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why I never wanna hear you say I want it that way. Oh look, it's like an Asian Mrs. Buttersworth. Okay. A less urban Aunt Jemima. If you are in the market for dried mushrooms. You cannot go wrong with these shiitakes. Deep down inside of me. Desire. You are, you are, you are, you are. dad and I came here on my birthday in August and he spent a legit like hour looking at all these wraps trying to find the best one and I wish I could remember exactly the one he said I think that he really enjoys um, these ones 
he might say that these are not the ones that he likes, but he really likes either these ones or these ones. Or these ones, or these ones, or these ones, 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 these ones. So many to choose from, so little time. Or he might like these ones. I'm really not sure which ones he picked out. He does make really good wraps. Grape gummy candy, product of Japan. I've actually tried these before in the strawberry flavor. These are actually delicious candies. So seriously, if you wanted to try something, uh, these are excellent to try for sure. Doesn't that mean three? No, that would, yes, it could be three, but in that context, it's actually me, am I. You can get these huge things of dried seaweed. Um, yes. If you are missing seaweed nutrients in your diet, be sure to come here and get all the nutrients of the sea. We're in the frozen food section now. So you can get all different types of frozen um, meats and things, but this looks like this is a dumpling of sorts, pork and vegetable dumplings. That's very interesting. They also have preserved duck eggs if you are in the market for those for your next entertainment party. Stickman fish cake. I'm not exactly sure what this would taste like. I'm figuring it tastes like fish. Mmm. Okay, now if you are needing dried pollock head, here we go, eyes included. Here is some dried pink shrimp, as well as dried squid. Mm. Crazy how some of them are like super hard noodles, like, like that, but then some of them are like, pretty soft. I wonder what the difference is or why that's like that. That's the strangest thing because that's what happens to me when I get on a boat. I get the sea squirts. Happens to all of us. So now we're in the snack section. Yum. I love snacks. Such as green tea Kit Kats, which I know you may or may not have tried. They are awesome as well as the strawberry Kit Kat. Yes, very fun. They also have just assorted candies, which any of your friends that like hard candies might appreciate. There's coconut flavor, garden chocolate, oh no, just chocolate flavor, different things like that. Oh, this is a rice snack. It has some kind of sauce on it. These are bugle type deals and they are a teenager's party time. Isn't that the truth? Lobster chips. If you want that fish flavor without that fish aftertaste, then lobster chips are for you. Each one is a stylish masterpiece for people who want excitement in their chips. Enjoy nice time by specially fine tastes. If you need a little something to take to your kids, you can bring them a panda jelly packet gift container. Now we're going to the European foods. This seems like a lot of tea biscuits. I wonder if they got them out for like um, the wedding, we're a wedding this weekend. Perhaps, I don't really know if this is what they eat in England or not, but maybe, maybe they did. These are Russian lacquer miniatures, whatever that means. But look, you get this cool keepsake case made of uh, stuff. Oh, there you go. Oh, I'll tell you what it has is in Russian. That makes sense. But, but it still. shows what they look like. So they're a, some kind of something, cream, cream type thing filled with apple, chocolate. Yeah. Very interesting. Interesting. Delights. Turkish delights with coconut and fruits. Wow, $4.99 for this box that's about two and a half the size of my hand. Yes, 
This is the home goods slash houseware section. You can definitely get skewers here, different types of serving dishes, which is great. I love it. Now this is a really cool strainer, actually. I love the pink color, and it looks like it is very, um, like a get, I don't know, nothing would be getting through this kind of strainer, that's for sure. That's all I can say about that. Now, I don't own a walk, but I'd like a walk, but wow, I mean, like, look at that hardy size walk. I mean, compared to Ray's head, it's a lot bigger. <laughs> so waka 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 yes oh and then like this is miniature toilet seats oh no i don't think that's actually what that is cool. <laughs> okay so you can buy grills here which is pretty cool like little grill plate thingies yeah very interesting big selection you can also um like this this is a beautiful piece kind of like a dutch oven perhaps this is my favorite section. I have different bowls from here. So yeah, you can get any kind of dishes you want. Oh my goodness, isn't this the cutest little sauce dish? And only for 99 cents. Great prices. I love the dishes here. Now, I love this. This is of course made in Japan. This is where I've gotten some of my bowls before. I like the fish, I think they're super cute. The owl dish that I bought the other day doesn't look like it's here anymore. It might be moved, so we'll see. But, oh, yep, nope. Owl dish at my home. This is it. I'm where I got it for $4.49. Love it. I'm really big into this dish as well. I just think that's the cutest little, uh, yep, that thing. And then they have even more little dishes. Oh, it's some kind of a magic jar. Maybe you grow things in it? Oh. Kind of trying to see it here. A Bacchus magic jar. Hmm. Hmm. Or as Katie said, you really could just put water in this and when you go to the gym, like those guys in the gym, just... Or put cheese balls in it, one of the two. That's what I would do. Here are more dishes. Now, I love this. This um, has a really um, cool feel. It was made in Japan, which is awesome. I love the flowers. That is gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Look at these adore... Well, that okay, that has something on it. We'll skip that one. Oh, they all have a little something on them. Yes. That is pretty. Look at all this. And it's only $16.99. And you get these two bowls here, which would be great for like rings, like your jewelry, or food even, obviously. But it's pretty cool when you've got a couple of these things. I think this may or may not be chopstick lifter uppers. I'm not quite sure. Oh, uh, that makes sense. No, I think you flip them the other way, baby. That makes more sense. <laughs> so I was just trying to use them as a spoon. <laughs> and you like chopstick holders. I'm really not very aware. But we're probably both wrong. These are great soup spoons for sure. Um, I, I have one of these. And not, not the same look. One I got from my parents. But yeah, if you're ever in the mood for a cool soup spoon, definitely check this place out. It's awesome. And then more dishes. And more soup spoons. Yes, so many different types of soup spoons here. I love it. You can get the flower ones to match. You can get a cool looking ladle. So many different options. This is a super fun looking like rice scooper or something. This is the area where you can get chopsticks. I think it's super neat. You can get some beautiful wooden chopsticks if you like. They're lovely. You can also um, get metal type things. It's very interesting that you can get um, metal chopsticks if you'd prefer that over wooden chopsticks. But this is my favorite. I love these Edison chopsticks for teaching young children how to use chopsticks because there's finger holes for them. So yeah, this is super cute. They even have fun ones for girls as well. So this is great. And then also look at this. It's almost like a bento box where you can just separate out their food for them for their lunches. And then it's got a little fun lid that goes on top. So that is just too adorable. So they've got the larger size and that's also the same size, but it's blue instead of pink. So on top of groceries and everything else they have here, which is really awesome, they have this great like 
cooking section with all kinds of rice cookers and skillets and stuff. So let's have a look. What is this? this is this an all-in-one cooking system? Oh, it's very interesting. I'm not exactly sure how, what you would do with it. I'm sure there's a way to open it. Oh, yeah. I think you press the buttons down on the sides. Oh, nope. Oh. Oh, oh it's like a crock pot inside of a... Oh, it is like a steamer crock pot. I bet that this part might even... Yeah, this part even comes out of there. So, I bet you can steam, bake, um, do everything in this one thing. It's a little too much for my brain, but it is fascinating. But look at these different rice cookers. I think that's what they are. It's really neat. $659. Oh, wow. So, that is a pricey... Um, rice cooker but evidently it does its job hopefully for that much or you can get one for four twenty nine, or you can just make rice on the stove I've never seen this in a grocery store where they sell massage chairs and toilets it's awesome this is like a Sam's Club almost but look at these really nice chairs these, these look like they're yeah top of the line I mean that one right over there in the red is $5,400 so definitely a lot. And those toilets, uh, six forty nine ninety nine. Wow. And those are the kind of toilets that you see overseas that'll have all the buttons on the side and that are like electronic. That's pretty cool. Something else that's rare for a grocery store is an actual post office, which is pretty awesome. So you can do your shopping and send your mail. The next section we're going to is the bakery section as well as a couple restaurants that they've got here. They've got different kinds of milk cakes here as well as salty milk loaves. These cakes are absolutely beautiful, that's for sure. You have flan if you're interested in that, walnut coffee cake, fruit cocktail sponge cake, so many different types of options available. At the first of the two restaurant areas, you can get items such as these. I love that they have pictures for everything. That's very helpful when you want to order. You've got house special fried rice, vegetarian fried rice, red bean buns. So many different options to choose from. At restaurant number two, you also have some great pictures so that you can know what wonderful dishes you could try. This is, I believe, a Korean style restaurant. So it definitely looks very yummy, for sure. So that just about does it for today at the Super G Mart in Charlotte, the international food market. Um, we're just so glad that you joined us today. Yeah, make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll be doing more places around Charlotte very soon. Yep, see you soon. See ya.